Hello, my friends, and welcome to The True. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? Today, we're looking at self-control from James chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. David Platt wrote in his book, Exalting Jesus in James, the first mark of true and acceptable religion is controlled speech that displays a changed heart. Now let's look at James 1.26 again. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. Now self-control in our actions and words is the evidence of a person who is disciplined. As we grow and learn it becomes easier to know what is right and what is wrong. When we were kids growing up, learning what was okay and what got us in trouble became clear as we grew. And as we grew, we so did our knowledge about the choices that we make and what the outcomes were going to be based on those choices. Wisely, we learned what to avoid in order to avoid getting in trouble. We learned how to stand our ground when Things were coming at us, and the offers were made to do what we knew was wrong. We learned how to say no. The thing is, life has immutables, and we all know what they are for us. Do we control our tongues? Do we allow ourselves to become guilty of gossip, harsh words, and the like? James tells us that if we do not keep a tight rein on our tongues, we are deceived. James isn't alone in telling us this. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Jesus said in Matthew 12, 37, For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. In Titus chapter 2 verses 11 through 14 we read this, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to be redeemed from all wickedness and to purify out for himself a people that are his very own eager to do good. There are so many more verses and passages that we could look at together, but the point is clear. We need to learn self-control. We need to learn to use the correction and the direction and the guidance of the Holy Spirit as we explore God's Word and chew on it. Doing so will help us grow in self-control. Self-control is necessary in everything we say and in every form of communication we use, be it the phone, social media, text messages, group chats, and the like. Self-control is critical. Here are the questions today. Do I have a tight rein on my tongue? Am I deceiving myself with a worthless religion? Do I want to grow in self-control? What is the Holy Spirit saying to me right now for today? Am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life? Or am I going to choose my own way? Now I'm praying for us as we read this verse and we read these verses that we've shared here today. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. Let's have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths, and then let's take a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do 
what the Holy Spirit is leading us to do. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.